Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What are the various constituents of domestic wastes? Discuss the effects of sewage discharge on a river. Now when you talk about domestic wastes, it can contain a lot of things. It can contain disease causing microorganisms, it can contain kitchen wastes, dissolved nitrates, phosphates, ammonia, plastics, sewage, sand, clay, paper, fiber. So a lot of wastes can come out of our domestic household. So all of these can be a part of domestic waste. Now what can happen if we dispose the sewage into a river and that too without proper treatment that can be extremely harmful. So without proper treatment it will definitely cause water pollution because it has so many harmful substances within it. So as we have discussed before that proper treatment first primary treatment where all the solid particles are removed followed by secondary treatment where the dissolved organic matter gets removed by the action of microorganisms. So that is extremely important without doing that the entire water gets polluted as a result it poses a threat to the aquatic life. So all the uh, organisms living in the water also uh, gets killed. So it is it becomes a threat to the aquatic life. So the aquatic ecosystem gets affected. It also deteriorates the water quality. So that polluted water cannot be used for drinking purposes or cooking purposes. Question number two. Match the items given in column A and column B. So what do we have in column A? Catalytic converter. So why is catalytic converter used? So this is used to convert more toxic gases into less toxic ones. And what are the more toxic gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides. So this would be the option for catalytic converter. Electrostatic precipitator. What does it do? It removes the particulate matter from the smoke coming out of the industries and factories. So this will match to particulate matter, that is number one. Earmuffs. Earmuffs is something which is used to cope up with the high noise level. So earmuffs will match with high noise level. Landfills for solid wastes, these are nothing but depressions created on the land where the solid wastes are dumped and then covered with dirt every day. So that is just one way of disposal of solid wastes. Let us look at the next question. Write critical notes on the following. Eutrophication. So what is eutrophication? It is the process of aging of lakes. So the way human beings become old and they age. In a very similar way, lakes also age, both physically as well as biologically. So what, what do we mean by physical aging of lakes? Physical aging takes place when the depth of the lake tends to decrease and the sedimentation increases at the bottom. And biological aging takes place as the primary productivity of the lake tend to increase. So physical aging, the lake becomes shallower, that is the depth tend to decrease and biological aging when the productivity tend to increase. Therefore, older lakes have higher productivity than the younger lakes. Now, eutrophication is measured in terms of the trophic states. Like there are different stages through which a lake passes during the process of eutrophication. And those three states are oligotrophic state, that is the first state where we have very little sediment and the depth is quite good. So this much is the depth, but sediment wise it is quite less. And the primary productivity is also less because we really don't have much aquatic plants or producers. Next stage is mesotropic, that is the intermediate stage. Here we have relatively more sediment, therefore the depth reduces. So here you can see this depth has decreased due to the formation of sediment at the bottom. And here the product primary productivity is little more than that of the oligotrophic state because here you have relatively more producers. And finally, the third state that is eutrophic state where there is maximum sediment and therefore minimum depth. So it is quite shallow but the productivity is maximum because you have more producers in this state. So these are the three states through which the, uh, eutrophication progresses in any lake. The next one is biological magnification. So what is this? Magnification means to increase and what increases through different 
platforms the concentration of a toxic substance. Now, in a food chain, we have different trophic levels. For example, trophic level 1, trophic level 2, trophic level 3 and so on. So, trophic level 1 is always occupied by the producers which are normally green plants. Then the next level is occupied by the herbivores which feed on the producers. Then the next level is occupied by the uh, carnivores that is primary carnivores which feed on herbivores and so on. This is how the food chain or the levels in the food chain continues. Now it says that the concentration if a toxic substance enters into the producers so this is going to magnify at each step. So its concentration is going to increase as we go higher in the trophic levels. So it, let us take this example. Let us suppose this is a river which has polluted water. So if these small zooplanktons which uh, drink this water or which in, which undergoes intake of this water, they get the poison inside them. So the concentration of the poison gradually increases as these are taken up by the small fish and the small fish in turn is eaten up by the big fish. So basically in this case what happens is zooplankton is eaten up by the small fish and the small fish in turn is eaten up by the big fish. So it has been observed that the concentration of any toxic substance for example say DDT. So this concentration increases in small fish. It is more in small fish than in zooplankton and again it is more in big fish than a small fish. So as we go higher uh, in the trophy, in terms of trophic levels the concentration of DDT also increases. Now what causes biomagnification? So one reason is that the toxic substance can't be broken down. For example, if DDT gets inside the body of an organism, whether it is a small fish or a zooplankton, it will remain as it is. It will not get broken down or it will not be excreted out. So it will always be there as a part of the body. At the same time, these organisms will consume a lot of organisms at the lower level. For example, this small fish might feed on some 30-40 zooplanktons in a day. And each zooplankton had a, has a particular concentration of DDT. So when the small fish is eating up some 30-40 zooplankton, so the amount of poison which is getting inside the body of the small fish that is 30 or 40 times the concentration present inside each zooplankton. So it is quite obvious that the concentration of the chemical will be more inside the body of the small fish. Groundwater depletion and ways for its replenishment. Now what causes depletion or overuse of groundwater? So groundwater is decreasing due to increase in water demand of the increasing population. So here also if you see overpopulation is the underlying cause. So since the population is increasing so much, demands of the people is also increasing. So more water is required. So from where will that water come? So the groundwater is being used up. Water pollution and overpollution adds on to the problem of groundwater depletion. So on one side we have the problem of water overpopulation and on the other side we have the problem of pollution. Even though they are both related to each other. So overpopulation is again another cause of water pollution also. But these two things together results in the depletion of groundwater. Some of the ways to replenish is avoid wastage of water so that at least we can judiciously use whatever water is available to us. Prevent deforestation because water because roots of the plants help to hold the soil together and that's how it also prevents water from flowing away unnecessarily. Rainwater harvesting so the rainwater can also be utilized for useful purposes and that way also we can save some groundwater. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.